Buddy Head and Vestal are having a holiday party. And uh, we're a very small gang here, and Buddy Head and Vestal Ooh. decided to uh, lend the holiday party and make it a vehicle to benefit my one of my best friends and bandmate, Brian O'Connor, who is beating cancer right now. I mean, the guy's been diagnosed with some stuff that sounds scary. I think a lot of it has to do with how well his friends rallied. Like, I mean, so many people rallied behind him that it was like super inspiring. Well, you know, and when we found him and thought him out of the block of ice where he had been trapped for 100,000 years next to the mighty Mastodon that he had just killed, uh, we had no idea that he was going to be this intense. But, you know, if he can last through a block of ice, he can last through anything. Yeah. Jumping up there solo, right? Are you scared? I'm really scared. Getting up there without a band? No, 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 that's awesome. Now, then nobody's going to be looking at them. The one thing that I really hate when I'm on stage is it's like, I wrote these damn songs. Look at me! You know, like, look at me! How dare you look at him? So you're excited to get up there alone? I love this. This is the cool, honestly, this is the, it's the best job in the world. And I mean, stage fright, I've never had it. I'm only afraid of showing people something that sucks, you know? There's two types of rock bands in the world. There's one that comes out and masturbates for everyone to see, and one that comes out and screws everybody in the room. I'm trying to get down, you know what I mean? So I want to get down with everybody in this room right now. <laughs> My whole life in rock and roll has been like a fairy tale theater thing, you know what I mean? I've watched it unfold. Ever since I traded the family cow for those three magic beans, my life has not been the same. But uh, I'm releasing a solo record that I wrote. Instead of being like Eagles of Death Metal, which is Chuck Berry raping Little Richard and Keith Richard, this is like Gary Newman raping George Clinton in Little Richard's Small Intestine. I mean, not anybody gets to be in a band like Eagles of Death Metal and have it last, and then not everybody gets to make a solo record. Not everybody gets to have Buddy Head and Vestal want you to play at a party to benefit someone who is a wonderful person, you know what I mean? Like, it's a rare time we live in, but life is beautiful. I mean, there could be worse things, like herpes. So do you have any advice for the people out in TV land here? I have a lot of advice. Remember, if it looks like an Indian and smells like an Indian, it ain't John Wayne. So no matter how bad it wants you to believe it, it just isn't. And if you make a girl bang and don't tell anyone, you may get to do it again. My grandmother taught me that. And one more, you catch more fish with a net than with a line. A line is something you say to a girl, and that's an attitude you say to the whole room. True. That's valuable. Thank you, I'm Boots Electric, and I want to give everyone a hug after the show. Wait up for the Earthlings, and thank you, Vestal, and Buddy Head. <laughs>